Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I want to share something with you. Now, sometimes we don't realize how much people in this day and age, in these last days, how nervous people are. There is an uneasiness in the air. And a lot of it comes from different things. For example, people are online showing FEMA camps, showing what looks like <clears throat> Walmart concentration camps. Now, we don't know what people are getting ready for. But something is brewing in the air. And what I want to ask you is while you're preparing for the disasters that we see coming our ways, while we're preparing for the doom and the gloom, while we're getting ready, you know how people store up for disaster preparedness, what are you doing in your soul? <clears throat> the reason I say that is because when things start getting hairy and you need to call on God, are you in a position where God even wants to hear you when you call? Have you gotten it clear with your family? Have you ironed out all differences with people within the church, without the church, in your family, on your job site? Have you resolved issues from the past? Have you chosen to forgive? Whether you feel able to or not, have you asked God to give you the ability to forgive? Listen, when you walk through life and you're dragging the load from the past, it slows you down, it weighs you down, it drags you down. And what you don't realize is that will sabotage where you're going. My mother used to call carrying too much so that you don't have to make too many trips. She used to call that a lazy man's load. Some of us, <clears throat> excuse me, are no, no offense, just happens to be a fact. Some of us may be lazy about getting things done or we procrastinate, but some of us are lazy about putting forth the effort to clear the air, putting forth the effort to resolve relationships, to work through relationships. And see, we have to remember while we're waiting for Jesus to bust through the clouds and come and rapture us out of here. You're not going to be able to go up if you got stuff tied to you. What is tied to your ankles? What is tying you down? What is weighing on you? Whose name is on that weight? You cannot expect to move up when you're glued to what's under you and what's behind you. You have got to cut the umbilical cord to your shame, to your pain, to your hurts, to your past, to your regrets, to your unforgiveness, to your bitterness, to your resentment. We're looking around to see what's, what's uh, brewing around us, what's getting ready to happen, what's getting ready to break loose. But you need to focus within. You need to see what God has to say about what's going on in your soul, in your emotions, in your mind. Because when it's all said and done, you will be like a boat with a hole in it. You'll be rowing yourself to death while that boat is filling up with water. And you're trying to bail, and trying to bail. But you haven't plugged up the leak. And as long as your boat is leaking and filling up with water, it won't get you anywhere. 
it can't even get you to shore. It's time to cut the past loose. <clears throat> it is time to ask God, excuse me, to forgive you and enable you to forgive everybody else who has offended you. It's time to ask God for that, for his help. Some of this you cannot do on your own. Some areas of forgiveness you just can't manage. It's almost impossible, and God knows it. But remember, he will not require anything of you that he cannot equip you or help you to do. That's how fair he is. Everybody I've ever had to forgive, I had to get help from God to do so. And some of them, I had no desire to forgive. Now, when Jesus comes and splits the clouds, what are you going to have hanging on you that stops you from ascending up with him and the angels? Don't let him catch you unaware. You need to be rapture prepared, even more so than disaster prepared. Get prepared, you guys. It's time to get our houses in order, our hearts, our minds, our lives, our attitudes, our spirits. We need to get in order. We need to get in the right place with God. God bless you with safety, supernatural protection, divine guidance, and supernatural help as you prepare for the last and final days on this earth. God bless you.